Right. Everybody! What's up? All right, okay. Uh, replay viewers, hey, what's up? Shannon PX, Catherine, hey, true Joker style. Man, how are you guys? Good morning. All right, Mac Dobo. I love you. Man, good to see you guys. I love the regulars. Makes me happy. Lots of hearts. Give me some hearts. Hey, Toonie42999. Hey, morning. What's up, true Joker style? How is everybody? Monday morning. My favorite days. I say it all the time. Um, because no one else likes Mondays, so I take them and I make them mine. So, you notice uh, the old beardy. It's uh, grown a little longer. I got one more week that I get to be all nappy and uh, facial hairitis. Good morning from Newfoundland, Canada. Hey, what's up, Newfoundland? Okay, so this is Dr. Darren, doctor in spandex, uh, where we cover five, uh, st we cover a STEMI topic, right? Uh, STEMI. This is where education and entertainment comes at you like a heart attack. Boom! Okay, what's up, NZ? Boo! So I just got done with the 12-hour shift, and uh, so we're gonna cover some topics. A mountain dump. <laughs> what's up, Dr. Previous? Glam247, how are you? So, I'm in Spandex because I ride to and four from work because cars are expensive, insurance is expensive. Uh, I had a big Dodge Ram truck before I started out here in Illinois. Hey, what's up, Marcella? And Asti, wait, and uh, Athanasia, 210, what's up? Hey, guys, so uh, our S topic is our storytelling. S, so this is STEMI. Storytelling, trending topics, um, uh, what was this one? I forgot, shoot. Um, events, current events, and then medical made easy, and then uh, inspirational. Wow, you are energized. Thank you. Uh, how's your little girl doing? And I think I have celiac vomiting disease. Ah, suck. My girl is doing great, uh, better. She's still on antibiotics. Um, so maybe, what's up, uh, Adele Caustic? What's up, guys? Um, she's doing good. So for all of you guys that didn't know or catch any of the um, doctor and Hispanic sessions over the weekend, uh, I've been spending the last three days with my daughter. She got a bilateral. Uh, polynephritis, um, and uh, she was doing very poorly. Very, very high temperature, fever, just lethargic and just out of it. Um, it was kind of scary and sad. Put me in a very interesting position because I was a doctor, and I kind of had to step aside and be a father um, in the hospital. So we had nurses coming in, doctors coming in, tell me what was going on, and uh, it was interesting to kind of just trust them and let them do what was going on, and it was interesting to see the patient's point of view. And knowing what happens behind the scene, you know, but she was still so cute. She is very cute. Okay, uh, story time. We're gonna do our story time is gonna be uh, um, Princess Knee is gonna be our story time. Uh, training topic is going to be um, childhood obesity. Okay, um, current events. Current events is gonna be. Let's see what's our current events. Um, I wrote it down. Okay, let's go with uh, Steve Sarkeesian. Steve. Sarkeesian. We're going to talk about Steve Sarkeesian and his rapid fall from elite football status. Okay. And then uh, medical made easy. I'm, I might call this MacGyver medicine. You know, kind of like the you're out in the sticks, you don't know what to do, uh, you don't have access to stuff. But, anyways, we're going to call it, maybe we'll call this me, our M in STEM is going to be MacGyver medicine. That's what we're going to call it from right now. Okay. Let's say we don't have medicine, we got to figure something out. Okay. And that's really true emergency medicine, right? You are in an emergency situation and all you got is a toothpick and your Swiss Army knife and a piece of tin foil from a piece of bubble gum that you already spit out. Okay, so that is gonna be, we're gonna call that croup. So today our topic is gonna be croup for uh, MacGyver medicine, duct tape. Uh, we call, uh, <laughs> I lived in West Virginia for a while and duct tape was called West Virginia Chrome because it was on everything. Man, all the cars, and anything that was silver, it was duct tape. It was awesome. And then inspirational, we're going to share a quote from uh, Sir Albert Einstein. All right. Okay. So how's everybody? Uh, West Virginia Chrome. <laughs> yeah. So I guess you can change it to anything. Um, okay. So we got some parts. Okay. This is spandex. If you haven't come with us, this is my doctor outfit. I love it. My goal is to one day when I come to a shift, have a code blue when someone goes into a cardiac arrest and I'm in my spandex gear. So I usually ride in this spandex gear. And I wear shorts though. My wife has asked me to cover up when I do these periscopes because she doesn't like me sharing, you know, if you can duck it, well, you know, that's Jerry's classic. Haha. -ha. Is that your uniform? No, it's not my uniform. This is just uh, my cycle jersey, okay? I just wear it um, when I cycle, but I love it. So it's cool because I got some uh, scalpels, stethoscope. I love it. It's my it's my absolute favorite. Okay, so but I wear these spandex and I wear these shorts just because my wife, you know, doesn't want me to share, uh, you know, things 
and he bulged in. Uh, I just tuned in with your pants down. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to Dr. Darren in Spanish. I love it. Uh, your wife is a wise person. I agree. Um, so I try to share things with her on occasion. So she she's my little uh, checks and balance girls. Uh, I so want one of those shirts. Hello from Ireland. Hey, man, a lot of my ancestors are from Ireland. I absolutely love it. Yes, she's a great wife. Um, I'm from um, Irish and Welsh. I got some Scottish in me, some little German, and actually some Norwegian. I found an uh, ancestor a couple weeks ago, a single lady from Norway. She married this guy from uh, Scotland. I need to get that from my aunt. She would love that shirt. Uh, type in, I can't remember, uh, Dr. Scrub Top. It's awesome. Okay, so North Wales? No way. Don't, don't keep me. Are you from North Wales? That is freaking awesome. I love it. Well, hello. One of my dreams is to get to Wales. Um, it's where my family comes. A lot of people, hey, good morning. What's up? Maurice. Um, they were told that uh, people from Wales are uh, good singers, and uh, I did not get any of that reception of the vocal talents. <laughs> so that is freaking awesome. I love it. This, this made my day that you're from North Wales. Uh, my last name is Thomas, um, and uh, it's a Welsh name. That's where we get it. That's where I, I come from. I'm very proud of uh, my heritage. So I'm not sure I can sing, though. <laughs> Wales is such an amazing place, so beautiful. Man, I, I hope I can go there someday. Absolutely beautiful uh, pictures and everything I heard is great. Norway and Wales is bad singer. Prove it. Oh, shoot. Uh, I am a Davies. That's fantastic. What's a good song? I don't know. What's the song? Uh, I'm just not a good singer. Okay, multiple. I whistle a lot. I walk around the hospital wall because uh, I whistle all the time for two reasons. One, I can't really sing. But most importantly, uh, because I can't remember all the words to songs. Like, not even the 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 choruses. I mess. <laughs> Uh, oops, I did it again. No, I can't see that. I was like, oops, I did it again. I played with your heart. See, I don't even know the words. I can't remember. Okay, so, um, yeah, not a good singer. Terrible at memorizing the words. I like music, but for me, it's always been background noise. Um, I, I've never been. I've gone to a few concerts, and it's kind of been like, all right, this is cool. Now what? Uh, what ward do you work on? So right now I'm doing emergency medicine every month for me. It changes. I'm in my residency program. So happy Monday. Ha ha. That's right. Uh, I love happy Mondays. Mondays are fantastic. Um, anybody who's on here, just take it, own it, because no one else likes Mondays. They think it's terrible. So I say that's more Mondays for all of us. I think he's more kid song kind of guy. <laughs> that's right. I like the kids songs, especially because I have three daughters. So we spend a lot of time singing Disney songs, right? And, uh, but even then, I, you know, I, I couldn't just sing. I'm not very good. Okay, first topic, uh, uh, princess. So story time, okay? Our store, our S and uh, STEMI. So I was working in an Oklahoma Tulsa ER, right? And I was in a fourth year applying for a residency there. Very important for me to do a good job to impress these people, right? And uh, this lady comes in with her 16-year-old daughter. Let it go, let it go. Yeah, it's not even good. Wow, three daughters, how sweet. How old? Six, four, and two. Uh, they're absolutely beautiful. Oldest one looks just like me. She's a firecracker. She's competitive, and she's incredibly smart. So everything but the fourth thing, she's just like me. Second one, man, she's athletic, and she's smart too, but she's a quiet smart. She doesn't like, she's not competitive. She's all right. She misses things, whereas the first one, she drives her bonkers. And the third one, still yet to tell, but she's very, very sweet. She's my little uh, two-year-old. Um, congratulations. Awesome. Okay, so anyways, so this... Mother come in, comes in, comes in with a 16-year-old daughter, right? And she, her 16-year-old daughter just went on vacation down in Puerto Rico, where she cut her knee up on some coral, right? Just gnarly, just, just zigzag it, just nasty, right? They went to a Puerto Rican hospital. The guy stitched it up there. Terrible job. Just did a horrible job. Okay, had actually had the pre, um, the startings of uh, scar tissue. But when she fell and she tore up the stitching because it was such a weak stitching and poorly done. Okay, so she came to me and uh, it was my patient. Okay, and what's up, Tim Boy Jan 14? Okay, she came to me and the mother was extremely upset with this doctor in Puerto Rico. But it was in Puerto Rico. It's not like they could go back and say, hey, you dirty rat. Okay, so she looked at me. She says, okay, my daughter is a leg model. Which I had a hard time believing, but who knows? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe she's an airplane magazine leg model. I don't know. But she was a cute girl, but, you know, not what you expect for maybe a model. But she said, my daughter is a leg model, and you have to fix this, and you have to fix it. So there's no scars. This is her livelihood. And uh, I tell you what, I was so nervous, 
And uh, I've never taken so long on a stitching job. No, your stitching jobs you do pretty quick. Um, on girls, you take a little longer because they're more, uh, hey, what's up, uh, Jingi35, how are you? So, and uh, anyways, I stitched up, took a very, very, very long time. I did a very, very good job. She was very pleased. Um, so, but that was, should have taken like 15 minutes. It probably took me about an hour because I did deep subcutaneous stitches and then I did a uh, horizontal, I mean, I did it a ton. Hi, sorry, my scope froze. Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Okay, next one. Uh, training topics, medical, uh, children, childhood obesity. Guys, childhood obesity, research just came out. Uh, last 10 years, they've been studying childhood obesity because it's been on the rise, right? One thing they found out that the upward trend of childhood obesity has actually leveled off. The poor thing, though, is that there's shown no decrease. So as, so we'll take a win, but we've got to continue to prove, right? Recommendations is for every two hours um, uh, of screen time, there needs to be an hour of uh, activity. I understand they have to set some limitation, but it seems so backwards to me. I think you should have two hours of activity for one hour of screen time. He went all plastic surgeon on us. <laughs> That's right. My son is overweight. Bless him. He's 11 and about 130 pounds, but he's five foot tall. And he looks like a tall, big boy. Now, there's always got to be patience, too. we got to realize that people's bodies sometimes grow into it. Um, I was a chunky monkey. My wife was a chunky monkey. We both grew up to it. I'm still a little chunky monkey. You know, my wife is not. But uh, sometimes we have to have some patience as well. But at the same time, there's things that we can be conscious of, but uh, encouraging good eating. Uh, and just to showing, as Americans, our, tie, our diet, just a Western diet is horrible. And I have a horrible diet too. Yep, hoping he ends up. So you just got to continue allowing him to exercise, being active, um, activity, 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 and reducing your screen time is the number one thing you can do. Diet and screen time are the two killers for childhood obesity. Okay? All right. So that's turning topics. Okay. E. So our current event. So Steve Sarkeesian. I met Steve Sarkeesian when I was 11 years old. He was my hero. He was a quarterback for Brigham Young University. He was awesome. He's a phenomenal quarterback, and I loved him. Yeah, I tried to make sure he eats healthy. He hates exercise, but does sports three times a week in school. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes exercise is like homework. They don't want to do it because it's a job. It's something that you're telling them to do. So anytime you can get them involved in any type of outdoor activity. It doesn't even have to be exercise. Just go to a park and let them swing and run and jump and play tag and Capture the flag or whatever. Any of that stuff's good. Anyways, so I met Steve Sarkeesian when I was 11 year old. I worked my butt off to get through the crowd to get him to sign me. And he signed a blue frisbee for me. And it was awesome. He went to the NFL for a few years, went to the CFL, played in there. And uh, so he's been a coach throughout the years. And right now he's the head coach for US USC. Um, anyways, <clears throat> what's up, Mark Wesley? How are you? Good morning. He went to USC, and now he's the head coach for USC. It was one of the most storied football programs in the United States of America. Okay, and uh, over the last years, I don't know what's going on behind scenes, but I, my heart breaks for him. But he's just making stupid choices. He's got into alcohol. He's got into drugs. He's a Mormon. <laughs> you know, I don't know if you know anything about Mormons, but those are not loud. I'm Mormon. And uh, so he's making some bad choices. And he's been getting into drugs and alcohol. His wife just recently divorced him. Um, he literally had everything. A beautiful wife, kids, one of the highest paying uh, college career jobs uh, in the country. Storied program. I'm the pinnacle of his professional career. Head coach at a college. And... Uh, he just got fired. He just got put on an indefinite leave. So, lesson is, people, don't dabble in the stuff that you can't handle. Okay, be careful. Uh, make good choices, right? Uh, so, learn from Steve Sarkeesian. doesn't matter uh, what good you've done in the past. you always got to stay on your toes for the future, right? Make good choices and rock it. Okay, all right. Last one. Uh, MacGyver medicine. Okay, this is medicine made easy. What's up, J-Mill? Okay, so croup season, respiratory failure season for kids is on us right now, okay? Big thing, and every time we have the barking cough, um, which can be caused by a bunch of different viruses, including RSV. Okay, one thing you can do, it's an old wives' tale, but it actually works. Okay, physiologically, it works. So is when you have someone that has a barking cough, throw them in the shower, okay? You want to open up those uh, bronchioles, okay? But then you want to take them outside into the cold air. Fresh air does awesome things for these um, congested kids that are having a hard time breathing. The reason being is it causes vasoconstriction of the vessels. It reduces the amount of blood going to the, uh, to the lungs, which causes the lungs to be less pressurized. And it, they can open up those lungs. Um, it does a wonderful amount. Okay, it's not guaranteed to work. And if you continue to have strider, difficulty breathing, and then this barking cough, and you don't have an epinephrine, you don't have any uh, nebulizer at home, you gotta get to the ER, okay? Um, because you don't mess around with any respiratory issues with kids. Um, Audrey the turtle, what's up, 
Audrey. How are you? Love the name. You always make good comments. Welcome. Um, so I'm about to close up though. Sorry, you missed it at the tail end. You can watch it at the replay. Guys, share, follow. Um, trying to get to 300 followers is my next goal, right? Um, if you find this educational, entertainment, whatever. Love that.